this video we will glue the kerfing onto the back and top. Okay, the kerfing are those small wood strips and they're going to be placed, uh, as you see there, with the small tick mark lining up at the waist. We we'll use wood glue and you want to dab some wood glue uh, about once, uh, one little dot every three quarter inch or so all along the length of it, something like that and continue all the way down one um, strip of curving. And then you'll spread this glue. Uh, finger works fine. Um, try to get into a layer that's um, not liquid and not dry. So if it's real slippery, then that's a little too much glue. and but you need enough glue, of course, to uh, bond to the wood. Uh, it's helpful to keep your hands clean with a wet paper towel. Okay, now this is the trickiest part. We start with a waist, and we want to line up those little tick marks uh, that are both on the kerfing and on the waist. And you can position um, the kerfing by moving it at the tail, as I show there. The little inset picture is of a different take, so it's not synchronized, but it should give you the idea. And what you want to do is push down for about five seconds, and that will be enough to get the glue to stick and keep the kerfing from moving. But you do need to get the kerfing carefully uh, between the lines. You want to be within preferably a 64th along those kerfing lines. So we do the bot lower bout, and then we go back up and do the upper bout. If you have two people, then you can have um, you can work on lower and upper bout simultaneously. Uh, this is how good of a fit you want, and that's done with the back. Now we uh, pull the top, uh, your your top, the particular number for uh, your guitar, out of the drying rack and apply the kerfing to it in the identical manner. And at this point is a good time to trim one of our braces. Those two extra braces need to intersect. So that's the one that we need to cut in half. Place that on the guitar uh, in its lines, within its lines, and mark um, the path of, that the other brace will need to go through. Then take that brace and um, we'll go to the bandsaw. Actually, first let's put the top back in the drying box uh, so it's ready. Cut it in half of the bandsaw and then sand to the lines. You'll need to deburr because it'll uh, end grain. And then we're ready to glue the braces on the top and the back.